Hi, welcome to my video. Uh, and I'm coming at you live from lopezlasane.com. And in this video, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you the top seven mistakes business owners and solopreneurs make with their websites. And I actually went on LinkedIn and I got a few websites in some of the groups and in the feed and I'm going to show you seven examples of mistakes that a lot of people make with their websites online. So let's start with this website. Now this appears to be a blog but there's no headline. I mean I don't know what this is uh, all about. I mean, this is a blog post which which says which of these eight types are smart are you. But the thing is, what you have to realize if you are if you have a website, you only have less than ten seconds to connect or get people's attention online. See, most people aren't going to scroll down like I'm doing right now. They're not going to tr try and figure out what this website is all about because most people are busy they don't really have time for all that stuff and your website has to connect with people it has to talk to people people f have to feel like they're in the right place at the right time as they would say and this website doesn't do that I don't even know what this is all about really and most people are going to click off and go to the next page if they come here and they don't see what they want because there's no headline on the top so that's the first example and another thing there's no testimonials anywhere on here there's no success stories or no nothing we just have a blog post and a couple tabs about us tab but talking about the company itself it's not talking about any success this or anything that they did to make a difference in any any of their clients or customers or prospects lives or anything like that so I think it's kind of uh, just not good enough so let's go to the next website and this site there's no tabs none really I mean um, what you have is um, no tabs and and no headlines I don't this I don't even know the purpose of this blog uh, I guess this is about um exercise but what kind of exercise is it cardio or the weightlifting or well, I guess it looked like weightlifting but the thing about that is like I said it again people aren't going to scroll at the bottom when they come to your website and you have to make the navigation process easy and simple because anything that's online you should strive for simplicity people shouldn't have to people shouldn't have a hard time trying to navigate and try to figure out what do you have to offer them or what type of website or what type of service you have because you only have seconds to get your message across so let's move on to the next again no headline all they have is their name it appears to be and this is a blog here it appears to be a health blog so on uh, some kind of health blog and the navigation is uh, not good I would have um, I recommend having this area like blog categories and posts on the right side instead of the left because most people on average read from left to right 
that's F you right handed but I would recommend putting this all of this on the right side instead plus these they're missing a headline and there's no tabs at the bottom no page, tab, page tabs at the bottom even though they have it on top and there's no headline so there's a lot of stuff wrong with uh, this site and if you go if you click on the other tab it appears like they have they have a book 10 ways to a better you the book you know that's that's cute but uh it appears to not be in print at the moment and if you click on the other tab press tab look like so it appears like this website is up and coming it, it appears to be but uh if you're building on a website or if you're not set fully set out the launch you don't necessarily you can hide it you don't have to have it available online and just like I said I found this site on LinkedIn so whoever's the owner made it available and I don't think that's a good idea if you were not ready to present yourself in a manner that you would be proud of you shouldn't let your website be available to Google, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever, any environment where you may where you have your information, period. So let's move on to the next site. Again, there's no headline here. We just have a big header with look like ice or I guess like it could be ice or it could be rocks it could be whatever I don't know what it is <coughs> but and the website appears to be about uh, sugar you know so I guess it's more of a health and science type diet type blog or whatever you know but uh, most people aren't going to scroll down and the um, tabs could be a little bigger and the uh, oops, click on on the subscription tab see what happens I'll say so this you can subscribe this is cool this is cool subscribe now to subscribe now on the what what do I actually get if I subscribe that's the thing you have to be very see the copy is not good not written you have to be very specific and very uh, persuasive I mean what do you actually get when you subscribe and if you click on the video tab see what they have look like somebody's being interviewed hmm. Look like interview tab, videos, whatever. Okay, so the next website just two clap two glasses a day and lose five pounds in days. That headline, okay, it could be better. But uh so they have a video here. It look like they have a a, a lady. I guess it's supposed to be like a um uh, demonstration type video okay like a demo a presentation it seems seems to be but it doesn't uh doesn't necessarily s say what what it's all about plus they don't have test. They don't have a testimonial. No testimonial tab is on anywhere on here. So how do I know that this stuff works? And this look like a. Uh, just you can actually they have a, an affiliate program, 
I guess this explaining to people how it works. Okay, but again, there's no testimonials of any success stories. So if you click on the product tab, I guess you have some of the products listed, which they have good designs. It's cute, but cute don't work. You still have to get your point across in a timeless fashion, very quick. Total life changes in is first to market. I, I don't understand what that really means. And if you click on the Thomas tab, you get so I don't know what that is. But this site is, uh, I would say, it's very confusing. Uh, I think if I, if an average person came to this site, they'd be a little confused because the tabs, each tab doesn't necessarily doesn't really have anything to do with the rest of the tabs uh, uh, except for the revenue the affiliate tab that they have but the rest of the the rest of the tab appears to be other services so you don't want to put other services that aren't similar of of the same value on the site either and you want to have testimony if you make any claims especially money claims or product claims you always want to have social proof along with testimonials and to build your credibility uh, especially if it has to do with diets uh, weight loss relationship and dating uh, science, health, I mean, money claims, anything like that. You always want to build your social proof. And when you make any any type of claims, you always want to stand out. You have to find a, a unique uh, angle and approach. I always try to strive to be different. And uh, you just don't follow the crowd and these are the top mistakes that I saw while I was going on LinkedIn looking at some of the websites and I see these mistakes all the time and uh, and another thing that a lot of business owners uh, mistake a lot of business owners make they they don't use their own hosting meaning they they use a service online like uh, uh, oneonone.com or uh, or any of those free sites. They don't they don't use their own hosting. They don't buy hosting. They use one of those pirate free free sites that they have. <clears throat> For example, you might see. The domain might say something like blog dot 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 or blog dot wordpress dot com or any it could be anything, but they don't have control of their own website. People are are being um, tricked I mean, and manipulated to believe that if they go to free route, it's it's good. But no, you have you want to have control over your own website. You don't want because if you're using something like Google or Blogger.com, you can be you can lose everything overnight, especially if you're a writer or a blogger or something like that. So you want to have control over your own content. You don't want to be uh, uh, you don't want to put yourself in a position like that. So those are the top seven mistakes most small businesses owners make. So until uh, next time, my name is Lopez Hussain. Peace and love.